Oprah Winfrey's character has been called into question, but some people just never really vibe with her in the first place. Welcome to Beyond the Screen, I'm Nate, and these are the top 10 celebrities who refuse to work with Oprah Winfrey. Number 10, Angelina Jolie. Despite both of these women being public advocates for a ton of different charities and organizations, when the idea of them working together came to the table, the last thing that Angie wanted to do was help Miss Winfrey out with anything. According to an insider close to Oprah, Angelina actually refused to help Oprah launch her Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa. According to the source, Oprah reached out seeking celebrity sponsorship and public backing for the project, but once she reached out to Angelina, she was met with a swift nap. Oprah assumed that Angelina, of all people, would jump at the chance to represent such an incredible cause, especially considering how much she actually loved Africa. But the no was a devastation, and she would never ask for Angie's help again. A lot of people believe that the hate towards Oprah stems from her decision to publicly side with Jennifer Aniston after she split from Angie's ex, Brad Pitt. So she didn't want to help launch a school for girls in another country because Oprah chose sides once. That's mature. Number 9, Jason Momoa. This man is a few things. Aquaman, the enemy of Dom Toretto, and now he's the man speaking out on Oprah and the Maui scandal. Jason Momoa is a gifted actor and overall seems like a good guy from what we can tell. And a few weeks ago, he posted a video urging tourists to steer clear of the island. Throughout the video, he asks that all those who do not live on the island year round just stay home, remain there, we don't need you here. Many celebrities began to point out the fact that Oprah had just purchased property in Maui before the fires and she had been making regular visits to the island. It was believed that he was directing his comments directly at Oprah. Now, so far, neither Jason nor Oprah have actually commented on each other's positions when it comes to the Maui Fund. Jason has been vocal about his wish to contribute in assisting to the people of the island, but when he speaks about the Maui Fund, he simply refers to Dwayne Johnson, and that's about it. The two of them have paired up online to raise awareness for funds, but so far, there is no mention of Oprah's name anywhere. Number eight, Rachel Ray. Hey. While Rachel was once Oprah's mentee, being a celebrity chef turned into a publishing and TV giant, in 2007, she was caught using racial slurs in reference to Oprah. Good job, Rachel. According to Hollywood Insiders, Rachel had been indulging in a lot of no-no juice and food with one of her colleagues. As the night went on, she became more and more annoying, loud, and aggressive. Rachel apparently called Oprah a few things that I'm honestly not comfortable repeating, even though for some reason I'm allowed to say it on the internet. She's Weird. Rachel essentially started berating Oprah for her background and skin color, believing the moment to be private. A rep for Rachel denies that this conversation ever took place. However, another source confirmed the story, adding a few other horrible sentences that I'm again not going to repeat. Oprah never publicly called Rachel out, but she also never defended the woman. And it seems that Rachel has some kind of a grudge and blames Oprah for every single thing that's ever happened to her that's wrong. Well, it's her fault. Number seven, Chris Pine. Chris Pine is not just just the go-to guy when Hollywood wants to start a new franchise. He is also a side character from time to time. Isn't that neat? In 2018, he starred alongside Oprah Winfrey and a slew of other actors in the Disney film Wrinkle in Time. While Chris and Oprah shared a minimal amount of screen time together, it may have been on purpose. Oprah is no stranger to the acting world. She got her big break in The Color Purple, but as time went on, she became better known as Oprah, the lady who gave out free cars and told people to believe in themselves. Chris does not speak all that much about Oprah, especially when it comes to his time on the project, but when he does, it's short and simple. Like, if he goes too far into detail, he may end up saying something that he's going to regret. Oprah has yet to star in another film since, so maybe Chris Pine has more pull in Hollywood than some people think. Number six, Tom Cruise. The moment that Tom Cruise almost destroyed Oprah's set with his enthusiasm will go down in history as the most chaotic interview to ever be recorded on this planet. In 2005, Tom got a little excited thanks to his engagement to Katie Holmes. Now the interview consisted of jumps, flips, Tom trying to snap Oprah's wrists, and finally a paranormal activity style moment where Tom is running around the studio just looking for Katie. Following the interview, Tom was mocked relentlessly by both Hollywood and fellow TV hosts and personalities. As the years went by, the hate never really slowed down. The interview was never forgotten about, and Tom became a difficult man to sell in the eyes of Hollywood. He started starring in a lot more movies produced by himself. Now, I'm not saying that the interview is the main reason this guy's career is different, okay? I'm just saying that it's when we started to notice that he was crazy. He became so unhinged in 
2005 and he was just chaotic from then on. He's never outright looked at the camera and said, I hate Oprah. But his hesitancy to return in recent history is proof enough that he was just a little bit too hyped for Oprah on that day. Number five, Ludacris. Ludacris appeared on Oprah in 2004 to promote his movie Crash. Now he claimed that Oprah ambushed him. With criticism about hip hop lyrics instead of talking to him about the critically acclaimed movie that he was you know, there to talk about. Luda has since claimed that Oprah edited the show to make herself look better to the audience. He said during a separate interview that she edited out a lot of his comments while keeping most of hers in. Now of course it's her show, but they were doing a segment on racial discrimination and she basically gave Luda a hard time for being a rapper when he came onto the show as an actor. Luda revealed that his interview was extremely last minute, he didn't even know he was going on that stage until about 24 hours beforehand. Now following the interview on Oprah, she apparently pulled him aside to a green room where he claims to have been berated by her. According to Oprah, having a rapper on her show just made her feel like she was empowering them and he said it was like being at someone's house when they didn't want you to be there, which is awkward. At that point he had already been uncomfortable, but that was just a little cherry on top. Her main concern was of course his use of the n-word in lyrics, but he quickly pointed out the hypocrisy of having people like Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock on the show who were famous for using that slur in their sets. Oprah's shadiness was on full display following the interview from Luda and they will probably never work together or see each other ever again. Why would he want to be in the same room as her? That sounds very uncomfortable what he just went through. Number four, Whoopi Goldberg. In author Kitty Kelly's unauthorized Oprah biography, she claims that Whoopi Goldberg became a persona non grata, aka an unwelcome person to Oprah, after Whoopi was nominated for an Oscar for her role in The Color Purple and Oprah wasn't. The book noted that following the honor, the comedian never appeared on Oprah's show again and was noticeably shunned from her 2006 Legends Ball. It wasn't until Oprah invited the entire cast of The Color Purple onto the show that the so-called feud they had was addressed. Now it turns out that Oprah had actually ran into Whoopi at Tyler Perry's party sometime after the 2006 incident. Goldberg confronted Oprah, leading to an adorable but awkward moment between them. She asked Oprah why she was so mad at her, to which Oprah replied, I thought you were mad at me, I'm not mad at you, what? They just agreed that they should have had a phone call at some point and squashed everything, but I don't know. We have that little subconscious voice in the back of our head telling us to do stuff for a reason, right Whoopi? Number three, Ice Cube. Ice Cube may have gotten his career thanks to his epic music chops, both when he was a solo artist as well as during his time with the NWA. These days you probably know him as the guy from Ride Along or the, or the captain from 21 Jump Street. Ice Cube started acting in movies in 1991, debuting in the film Boys in the Hood as Doughboy. He continued to act over and over again, starring in movies like Friday, Anaconda, Are We There Yet, Snakes on a Plane. He really likes animals. His dislike for Oprah comes from the fact that while he has starred in several films, he's become more well known for those. In fact, she's never actually invited him onto the show. She has even asked his co-stars to appear rather than himself on multiple occasions. In 2006, Ice Cube expressed his frustrations, saying that his barbershop co-stars Cedric the Entertainer and Eve were invited onto the show while he was just kind of left on the sidelines. He pointed out how crazy it is that she's had all these people with dark pasts and convictions. Plus, if he wasn't a rags to riches story, who was? He was freaking Ice Cube. If you want to know anything about him, just watch Straight Outta Compton. It's a great movie and his kid plays him. So seriously, it was an incredible film, got massive success, and it was never mentioned on Oprah Winfrey's show. So that sucks. Number two, 50 Cent. The rapper once referred to Oprah as an Oreo in January of 2006 complaining that the talk show Queen had started out with the views of a black woman but was now catering to the middle-aged white American woman for so long that she became one herself. That is a direct quote from the magazine article, 50 Cent said that. Cent even named his miniature schnauzer Oprah as a dig at the talk show host. During an episode of Oprah's The Next Chapter, Cent was invited onto the show to discuss the situation and to just kind of clear up the air. Oprah visited him at his grandmother's house for the interview where he explained that his frustrations lied with her lack of hip hop artists on her show and like I said how much she detested the use of the n word. Now he claimed that he had seen moments on the show when she would discuss her feelings on the rap culture and everything that was wrong with it and it felt like a personal attack directly towards him. According to Sen, 
content. He called Oprah his enemy in the exchange, and he's never spoken to her ever again. And at number one, Monique. The beef between comedian and actress Monique and Oprah Winfrey dates back to 2010. Monique won an Oscar for her performance in Precious in 2009. Leading up to the film's premiere, Oprah interviewed Monique's brother, Gerald, who Monique claimed to have been very physical towards her growing up in a really dark way that I'm not going to get into, and I can't. In a since-deleted Periscope video, Monique claimed she gave Winfrey her blessing to do the interview, but was shocked and disgusted when she realized that her parents were asked to be in the audience. In the years that followed, Monique eventually forgave Oprah for creating such an uncomfortable moment for herself and her family. While forgiving Oprah, she continues to say that she would never forgive her parents for the role that they played on the show, in the moment, and of course, in the past for not doing anything about the situation that was happening. And those are the celebrities that refuse to work with Oprah Winfrey. Did we miss anyone that you know? Let us know in the comments below. As always, drop a like if you had fun. Please come back to the channel every day for more celebrity content. Thank you for stopping beyond the screen, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.